students uh, in this lecture we will investigate or uh, we will discuss about the experimentation related to find out the value of acceleration due to gravity that is uh, small g and in different books uh, uh, usually we take value of small g as 9.8 meters per second scale or approximately 10 meters per second scale it can be considered as 10 newton per kg acceleration due to gravity is the acceleration of any object which is falling freely under the action of its weight or force of the earth it will have its acceleration as g so we want to investigate how we we can determine this acceleration due to gravity to determine this acceleration due to gravity we are required the help of unit 1 that is called measurement in measurement in that unit we have discussed different measuring instrument one of that uh, measuring instrument was uh, length measuring instrument and it was divided into vernier caliper and screw gauge it was having mass measuring instrument that is physical balance in that unit we have discussed about uh, volume measuring instrument that is uh, measuring cylinder at the end there were time measuring instrument that is stopwatch digital stopwatch and mechanical stopwatch besides stopwatch there is an instrument which can also be used as stopwatch or time standard but there are certain drawbacks to use it but that uh, instrument help us to find the value of acceleration due to gravity that instrument is named as simple pendulum that instrument is called simple pendulum first of all we will see its uh, construction then we will see formula related to it then how we can resolve that formula to find acceleration due to gravity so it's a whole investigation examiner can ask you this question in different ways i will discuss at the end in how many ways examiner can ask this question first of all a pendulum as you are familiar with the wall clock uh, pendulum it consists of a thin metal string this string metal string is fixed from top that is called pivot or support the second end is connected with this spherical bob its shape is spherical three dimensional sphere golden colored sphere used to be present in the laboratory of mass m connected from one end and bob at the other end the bob is having its weight acting vertically downward that is w equals to mg and there is a tension force in the string vertically upward here what we have to keep in mind according to examiner point of view that length of the pendulum is not the length of the string it is the difference starting from fixed point <coughs> and middle of the iron bob it's very important to understand that this length consists of length of string and radius of sphere it means length of pendulum l with subscript p equals to length of string plus radius of bob so overall we will use meter rule to find this length this starting point and mid of the pendulum definitely we will measure it approximately there can be some sort of error that can be considered as random error so length of the pendulum equals to length of the string plus length of the sorry radius of the sphere so whenever you are performing an experiment of simple pendulum first error or inaccuracy in your measurement is because of measurement of length if a student measure length of string only error will arise if a student is measuring length plus radius and measurement is not accurate then there is error because it requires great precision okay so move next 
A pendulum can oscillate from one point to another point. The two extreme points are called as extreme position and the middle point is called mean position. At mean position, pendulum experiences two forces. One is upward and other is downward. At extreme position, the two positions are represented by A, B and O. Suppose one of the student, a learner is going to drag this pendulum from this position to extreme position A at this point and kept it here for some seconds and leave. This pendulum will cross position O and move to B and then cross position O and back to A. Starting from A and back to A is called one vibration of the simple pendulum or one oscillation. It's a complete trip. It's a tour around mean position O. Starting from A to B and back to A. So one round trip about this mean position O is called one vibration. So next we will study one vibration or one oscillation, one round trip about mean position that is starting from point A then goes to B back to A. It means it will cross two times the mean position O. Starting from extreme position A, move to B and back to extreme position A. Now this round trip has taken some time. So this time taken by one round trip or one vibration or one oscillation is called time period. The time required to complete one vibration or one oscillation. It is denoted by capital T, it is measured in second. Now, it is very important to understand if the time period of a pendulum is one second, then the 60 vibrations means 60 second or one minute. So this pendulum can be used as time standard. If the time period of a simple pendulum is two second, it means one vibration equals to two second. So 30 vibration equals to 30 times two, that is 60 second. 30 vibration equals to one minute. So in this way, we can calibrate it to use as a time standard or stoppers. Suppose a student drag this pendulum to extreme position A and leave. And on leaving A, he or she will switch on the stopwatch. Stopwatch on one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten vibrations taken and stopwatch is off. How many vibrations? 10 vibrations. So time taken for 10 vibrations can be calculated from the stopwatch. And if you divide that time by 10, you will get time for one vibration. That time for one vibration is called as time period. By taking more number of vibrations, we rectify or reduce human reaction time. Now human reaction time is reduced to one over 10th times. If we take 20 vibrations, then human reaction time will be reduced to 1 over 20th time and it will increase the accuracy of your experiment. So to calculate, there is uh, another skill you need to remember that to calculate time for one vibration, calculate the number of vibrations, either 10 or 20, then divide that time by the number of vibrations and you will get time for one vibration. Time for one vibration or time period is having a formula. All the periodic devices, there are different devices having their own formula to calculate their time period. Here simple pendulum is having a time period formula which is linked with the physical quantities involved in it. T equals to, this T is representing time period. 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by under the root L by G. That is T equals to 2 times pi times under root L by G. G. L is length of the pendulum that is equals to length of string plus radius of the ball. T equals to 2 pi under root L by G. This time period will give you exact value of time period of pen pendulum if you know its length because G remains constant. You can see that a very important message for you in this formula is that there is no mass involved in it. It means if you hang three pendulums, one, two, three pendulum, but they have same length 
and different mass then they have same time period why the this pendulum and this pendulum and this pendulum is have same time period because they have same length if you mark them almost you will see that they have same length if the length remains same and mass is different because this formula is independent of mass mass is not involved in this formula it means it is independent of mass so time period remain constant if you change mass but keep in mind you have to kept length as constant because time period depends upon length and acceleration due to gravity three pendulum of same length will have same time period you need to remember this fact as well now now we are moving to second last step where we will deduce or make g as subject from this formula in uh, Cambridge exams O level A to B this formula might be given to you this formula or maybe this form as well but you can do the deduction as well that formula is t equals to 2 pi under root L by G if we take square on both sides t square as it is 2 pi under root L by G whole square 2 square is 4 pi square is this and this square is cancelled out with this so you must no mathematics as well that this scale will be applied to this two this scale will be applied to pi as well this scale is applied to under root l by g as well so t square equals to 4 pi square under root l by g now making g as subject g equals to 4 pi square l over t with subscript 1 that is t square how i am going to making it as subject g here dividing go here and multiply with t square g t square 4 pi square l as it is in numerator and t square will come in denominator g equals to 4 pi square l over t1 square it means you can calculate acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth by applying this formula if you know the length of the pendulum and the time period how you will calculate length we will calculate length by using meter rule how we will calculate time we will calculate by using stopwatch if we substitute the value in this we will get the value of acceleration due to gravity now consider i have uh, drawn a table examiner can ask you in the exam that you may draw a table you may draw a table to show how you will calculate the acceleration due to gravity so to draw the table we will see the variables involved in it in this formula we have two variables one and two basically table will involve these two variables and then we will put the value of these two variables in this equation how we will write first of all we will write length in the table serial number means number of observations one two three four i'm going to take only one observation or measurement later you can calculate as many as you want to length time for 10 vibration then calculate time period for one vibration that is t with subscript 1 or capital t divided by 10 then take t square and finally write this formula and substitute the value you will get value of g on the surface of the heart how suppose i have considered a pendulum of the length 102 centimeter in meters it is 1.02 meter the time taken by 10 vibration equals to 20 second time for one vibration is 2 second 2 square is 4 now we have all the values length and t square if we substitute the value here g equals to 4 3.14 square that is 5 length is 1.02 meter and t square is 4 this 4 and this 4 will cancel out if you write this formula here the space was less so i am using this space 4 cancel out with 4 3.14 square into 1.02 if you multiply you will get 10.05 rounded off you will get 10.0 meters per second scale so you have calculated the value by using this experiment of simple pendulum students what i want to give you the information from this that whenever you are performing an experiment or an experiment is given to you your responsibility is to know the initial knowledge about it and also how to implement that in the form of table table will be given to you examiner can ask you to write the units 
examiner can ask you to write the missing value examiner can ask you if the values are given now put the values now at the end we have calculated the value of g by using simple pendulum and the value is approximately equal to the acceleration due to gravity of the earth important thing at the end i want to discuss examiner ask you that how we can increase the accuracy of this experiment the student used to write and they write it wrong and uh, what mistake they do and how will rectify it they usually do the mistake first is they measure the they write that we can in increase the accuracy of the experiment they write it we can increase the accuracy of the experiment by measuring length from the center of the sphere it's a precaution it will not straight away improve your accuracy next time how you will improve the accuracy secondly they write and which is a mistake uh, what they used to write they write that uh, measure the time and perform the experiment again and again uh, or change the values and or you can perform the experiment one after another actually or even they used to write that take uh, t10 first time t10 second time and take the average actually what uh, precautionary measures or what you will perform that will increase the accuracy of your experiment i am going to give you two three things later i will discuss and will give you more suggestions about it as well to improve the accuracy of the experiment first thing is measure the length accurately by measuring the length accurately uh, uh, you can increase the accuracy one more thing student write as wrong that they they uh, write it as we will not consider air resistance if we do not if we consider air resistance we will in, enhance the accuracy of the experiment no it's a wrong interpretation so measure length precisely and accurately if you measure length with great care then you can increase the accuracy of the experiment second thing is how we can increase the accuracy uh, that one student hold the pendulum and second student do the timing the one who is having the pendulum hold the pendulum means one student must hold a clamp or a retort stand so that other student can take the measurement easily so uh this way the second student will do the measurement third is in one experiment when you are taking time for 20 vibrations take another time for 20 vibration take another time for 20 vibration add them and take their average then you will put the average value of time for one vibration that will also increase the accuracy of your experiment so these are the things associated with simple pendulum and simple pendulum experiment there is uh, another investigation we will discuss uh, and that investigation is how we can make a simple pendulum such that its time period become 1 second how we can measure it how we can use a simple pendulum to make it able to measure a time of 1 second it means one vibration will become equals to 1 second in next class i will discuss that uh, investigation along with uh, graphical representation till that time take care and revise it at home you will note down all these things on your notebook and make your resource pack and you must have question bank as well in case of any confusion you can ask me in the comment box or whatsapp me or in any forum uh, where i am connected with you thank you have a nice day